In 2021, as we were growing, we were starting to rethink, um, re-architect our event logging system. Notion was already on AWS. As part of this architecture, we wanted to have a event-driven, real-time streaming platform that allows us to build the event logging system that we are re-architecting. So us being already on uh, AWS and Confluent being the best solution for a managed Kafka, it made sense for us to leverage Confluent on AWS to build on top of. We use Confluent connectors to read from data that goes into the topic into destinations like S3, for example. So we, we do leverage connectors uh, all the time. The ecosystem of connectors is pretty rich. Confluent provides that streaming platform that allows us to send uh, change data capture from our databases and eventually land them in, in a destination like S3. We do run Confluent Connect on EKS, for example, because some of our data sources are within Notion's VPCs and allows us to run compute locally. It gives us the right security boundary primitives as well. We do, we do leverage AWS services to sometimes either as a step before writing data into Kafka or a step after to, to read data from Kafka to write into destinations that are within our VPC. We love the fact that Confluent exists and offers us the services that they offer, so we can focus on innovating on top and, and providing value for our users and, and solving problems that are differentiated for Notion and Notion developers so that we can move fast. And together, I think the partnership, they've also been able to innovate for us and drive costs down in some cases with new clusters like Freight, for example, right? So where it's even more cloud native, where it directly stores data in S3 to bring costs down. I think the combination of Confluence technology and AWS infrastructure offered us the, the flexibility, the scalability, at the right cost for us to build the things that we wanted to build. I think this, this includes the foundational primitives for enabling an event-driven architecture for product use cases at Notion to building a data lake where we leverage S3 as the, as the desktop nation for, for storing our data. I think the partnership on Confluence end with AWS definitely brought innovation uh, that we didn't have to worry about but can leverage at a click of a button.